Well, good afternoon. This is the Icom IC910, and uh, uh, this um, just came in today. And uh, this is actually a, a friend of mine that um, um, will be passing this on. And I have one, so I don't need this one. Um, but uh, certainly, um, uh, it's very nice. And I take the dust off the top. <laughs> so I just noticed a couple of dust marks there. Although, anyway, uh, as you can see, it does have. Um, uh, the three bands fitted to it. Obviously, hold the uh, the band button down for a second, and that will give you a um, uh, the two bands you're probably more likely to use. And you can switch between the two, um, have both active, of course, or you can then hold in for one second and decide which band you want to um, have in each place by then bringing 1.2 up to the top into the active sec uh, uh, section, etc., etc. So. Most of what we're going to be doing here is uh, just on, um, uh, what are we going to be doing? Two metres. Yep, just on two metres. Sorry, I had to think about that then. Um, just got to check what leads I've got hooked up to this at the moment. Uh, let's have a look. Yes, that we are. Okay, so one of the common problems, um, and I won't go through, look, um, this uh, 910, we've done all the receiver checks and transmitter checks and blah, 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 you know, as you normally see us do. Um, the reason for this particular video is why am I not getting 100 watts um, uh, on FM carrier and uh, sometimes even on sideband uh, they'll um, they'll not get um, uh, their right power so here's a good example totally working radio as we can see and let's go up to our we're on the bottom scale here of the IFR and we're lucky to get 50 watts out of that on carrier so you'd sort of and our RF power is completely uh, to uh, full blast and um, some people would think there's a fault with the radio and I'd understand that um, but there's actually not um, the same thing will occur on um, 70 centimeters as well obviously it's only a 10 watt module on 1.2 so no effect there let me show you what actually causes it um, and it's uh, the ICOM IC910 um, came with a OPC 657 I think the lead was, but it's not so important what the lead number was. What's important is what's causing the problem. Um, now, this this one here has got a reasonable gauge um, lead on it, you know, that's, that's you know, uh, but the problem is it is just way too long. So let me just turn this off and I'll just show you something. I'm going to take this lead, I'm not even going <laughs> to, no tricks here. I'm going to put one of my cheap ass Chinese ones in there which are a metre long. And um, um, just so you know, these cheap ass Chinese ones actually work very well, they're not too bad. So you've seen me, I haven't stopped the video. Um, and all I'm doing is taking out the ICOM. This is an ICOM lead. This is definitely an ICOM twin fuse lead, but it's not the one, it's not the OPC657 that came with the IC910. And this is the problem. Um, when we turn back on, have a look at this. Uh, my cheap ass um, uh, Chinese lead, uh, total cost of under 20 bucks. Um, suddenly, with a meter long lead, look at that, 95 odd watts there. And if I go to sideband, I'll probably get over that. Let's have a look, one, two, hello, 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 hello. Um, sorry, let's have a look there. I don't think I went to sideband then. No, I didn't. I'm going mental. Oh, I see, I'm on the sub band. Sorry, let's get that right. There, we're better. Okay. Hello one two, hello one two, hello hello one two, hello 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 hello. So as you can see, PEP over a hundred watts, just over a hundred watts, with the change of a power cord. That's all it is. Um, so the IC nine ten was very very current sensitive, uh, voltage sensitive in the fact that if you were to measure here off your two meter lead under load, you'll find you'll be get, you we're getting some voltage drop uh, by. Uh, going back to a one meter long lead, which is what they came out with, um, uh, you know, that um, um, was something I read in an article actually. Uh, it wasn't something I discovered by remembering what came out of the box. I was reading this article about it, and uh, and it sort of confirmed what we'd found is that power leads sometimes, you know, when we're starting to talk, you know, 16, 17 amps draw. Um, and let's just have a look what we are talking. Uh, hello, one, two, hello, one, two, hello, 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 hello. Uh, hello one two, 
Yeah, we're actually not even talking that. Oh, no, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. 13, 14 amps there. Uh, it's probably not keeping up with it completely. Um, let's go back to FM. And... Yeah. I was just going to say, yeah, take the three amps off of the other stuff that's there. 21.5 amps minus three. So about 18 amps, 100 watts. And this here um, will do it, no problems. It's um, not even, it won't even get remotely warm. But yeah, so basically with your IC910, if you do get a problem where you find your FM carrier, you'll pick it up on an FM carrier more so, um, is low, then yes, that's that's going to be the issue. Um, have a look at that power lead. Uh, I'm not saying it can't be an output issue uh, on the um, uh, on the um, uh, on the radio itself. I mean, of course, output's going to have a problem, but definitely go and change that lead out first and check that because that can be um, the scenario. Okay, so. Not much else to sort of say with this one. Um, uh, look, this is um, absolutely a beautiful 910. Um, as I said, I've already got one. I've just got a couple of people sort of talking to me about um, uh, taking this one at the moment. So has got the high stab in it as well. So, you know, uh, that's the other thing too um, with a 910H. If you're going to do any sort of data work or anything with it, um, you know, grab the high stab. Uh, look, they're a great radio, and don't get me wrong, um, I actually prefer my 910 over my 9700 sometimes. I really do. Um, I've got a fully fitted out 910H with uh, all the DSP boards and everything, and high stab and voice board, etc. Um, and that thing is super sensitive on uh, 144.1. You know, I haven't been doing a lot of that lately, to be very honest. Um, would help if we got the antennas back up. But um, when I did use that, uh, you know, sort of, I was just in love with it. Uh, to be 100% fair, I haven't um, had time to do a side-by-side -side 9700 versus IC910H. Um, I think the 910H will actually, in some respects, uh, compare better. I, I look, we'll see, we'll see. Maybe one day we can do that and uh, have a bit of a look. All right, so anyway, that's just a quick uh, sort of quick fix it on the IC910H if you're getting a bit of low power. Uh, the power cords are definitely worth um, having a bit of a change out as you saw on the demonstration and uh, Wacko, you've um, you've got back to some real serious power there again, which is good. And um, let's just have a little listen. Uh, we'll have a listen on the side then. One, two, one, two. I'll turn the volume up so we can actually hear it. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, one, two. And that was a little bit loud, but um, anyway, we'll um, <laughs> we'll leave it at that. But yeah, look, um, brilliant radio. Um, uh, uh, Bob, if you're looking at this, yep, I know, uh, I've got to talk to you about that today, um, and um, another chap in the local area has been chatting about it, so I'm not sure how serious he is, but anyway, um, Bob, I'll give you a call later today about this. Uh, I'm sure you'll watch this video and say, hey, <laughs> mate, I didn't know it was coming in, it just came in today, so <laughs> anyway, it's all good. Um, thanks very much for having a look at the video, and um, certainly, um, if you get a chance to get a 910H, I, I think, look, this one will be sold, to be honest, um, uh, this one's uh, just a friend of mine that uh, we're helping out. Um, but uh, if you get a chance to get one, uh, definitely don't underrate it. Rate it. Um, everyone's going out buying 9700s, uh, including myself, and um, and then sort of going, well, did I really get that much more value over my 910H? Uh, that's one, I suppose. You know, we'll have to find out and do some testing one day. I, I still think the jury's out on the 9700 in a few areas. Uh, they've been obviously adding uh, 10 meg. Um, uh, uh, clocks to them, etc., to uh, to try and get them a bit more stable, and you know, and and um, uh, Hayden Honeywood down there in Seven uh, HH has been working with a couple of guys down in Tassie with some really good stuff that um, has shown that the you know the ninety seven hundred is no slouch when you've um, added the um, uh, ten meg to it. But uh, uh, yeah, there were a few initial concerns, but um, but you know that's like most models; they need a bit of refining. I suppose I suppose you know you sort of see that uh, they all sort of get there in the end. 73s, all the best. VK3, Charlie, Mike, Tanga, Malanga. Please sub subscribe and um, hit the like button and all that. And uh, we would be really appreciative. Cheers.